edit it. Hey guys. Hey, I've got some uh, power pole distribution uh, things that I made. And they are from 3D printed cases, um, case designs on Thingiverse. So link will be in the description. Uh, just the power pole, off the shelf pins, put them in there, solder them, and you're done. Uh, you can make uh, you know, three connector wands all the way up to like eight, I think. And that's pretty much it. What's the biggest one you've uh, built? Um, just this uh, six one right now. Yep, yeah, these pins are, uh, I forget if they're 35 or 45, but I'll, I'll, I'll put all the information down in the description. Yeah, the, these these are the 45 amp housings, yeah, but most are the 30 30 amp pins. I know they make some, you know, 45 amp pins for these. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you exceed the current the current rate, you, you put the pins in there. <laughs> <laughs> and watch out for the uh, the the Chinese knockoffs of these because the the material. The material is something that, let's say, melts easily. Do you know this by experience, or? Yeah. Wow. Okay. There is still, I believe, a club program for Anderson Power Poles. Um, yep. Where the club will sell you or provide Anderson Power Poles for less than what the going rate price is. If you have projects requiring Anderson Power Poles, and talk to talk to Ralph. Ralph. Maybe you want to send. He's our treasurer. He, he has the supply of these. So. Where is Ralph? I guess Lunenburg. <coughs> yeah, Ralph, Ralph is tied up right now with career stuff. So he's got more responsibilities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, power poles you know, almost anywhere. I, I, I think uh, Ralph and I got these from PowerWorks. All right. Thank you, Rod. W 